welcome to Vlogmas Day 1. I decided that I'm going to be doing a weekly Vlogmas because daily, the daily filming and editing I just don't know if I can do. Maybe I'm underestimating myself, but I've never done Vlogmas before, so I thought, you know what, let's just do a weekly vlog and see how it goes. Um, so I am just about to get ready right now. If you don't have a pair of cat ears for your getting ready routine, I highly recommend it. Just makes it just makes the experience so much more enjoyable. So I just did my skincare routine and I think I'm gonna go ahead and do like a little bit of makeup. I've just been trying to like get in the groove of having a more solid routine and I just think I feel better and I feel more like myself when I at least do a little bit of makeup, especially cause I'm not wearing normal clothes. It's like two elements that I really enjoy have kind of been stripped away from me. Like the fashion and hair and makeup elements of life are not super necessary, but they make me feel good. So I still am gonna do a little bit of makeup and I've been sleeping with my hair in braids every so often and I really enjoy it. Um, one, because I just, I'll wear my hair in braids all day and then I'll just sleep in them and I don't have to worry about my hair for that day. But two, when I take them out, I have these nice like natural, I don't know where my brush is, but anyways, when you take them out, they have these nice kind of natural waves happening, which just kind of eliminates one thing that you have to do. And also I'm trying to use less heat on my hair, so that helps. Hey. I'm drinking a iced green tea from Starbucks. I get light water, otherwise I put so much water in there and no sweetener. I've been trying to do less coffee. So green tea gives me like that same kind of caffeine boost, obviously not as intense, but it gives me something to work with and I just feel so much better when I drink it. So it's not as exciting, but oh well. I want to use a brush. I usually use the beauty blender, but I kind of feel like I want to use a brush. I have a review on this foundation, by the way, if you are interested at all. I really like this one for lighter days. I'm mixing a couple concealers right now because I don't have one that's a good color. I have one that's too light and one that's too dark. So these are both from e.l.f. It's the camo concealers. I feel like when I do these days where I'm just doing makeup at home for my own sanity, I like to use the makeup that maybe isn't like the best color match or it's not my favorite makeup just to like use it. I do need to go grocery shopping really bad, but I don't want to, so. <laughs> Things are getting crazy. Again, we're like, um, basically back on lockdown. I think most places are right now, but uh, I just dread the grocery store so much. I might, I might just have stuff delivered because I don't know if I could do it. I don't know what this eyeshadow look is. This is literally just me slapping something on for some color. I also need to order more eyeliner because I'm out of all of my favorites, my like ride or die eyeliners. And so whenever I try to use one that I'm not that comfortable with, oh, I like this one. This one, the Balm Schwing. It's like a tinted lip balm from Honest Beauty. It feels nice on the lips. I'm hungry, like really hungry. We've been waking up early, so I get hungry early. And I'm gonna make this purple carrot meal. It is a smoky portobello tacos. And usually I do these for dinner, but sometimes I do them for lunch if I have a little more time to make a lunch. And these are gonna go bad soon, so I need to make them. So let's do it.
voila. <laughs> they don't look very pretty at all and I put way too much sauce on that one. But I had some extra stuff so I made like little mini bowls. You haven't missed much. I did get a coffee because I literally could not. And I ordered groceries because I cannot be bothered to leave the house today. I just, I already know the line is gonna be crazy because I think people are kind of back in like panic mode. So that's gonna get here later tonight. It's not gonna be here till said between eight and 10 at night. Um, but then we also have a purple carrot delivery that should be coming today too. made dinner. Usually I don't make two purple carrots in a day, but these were about to go bad, so I had to. This is a tomato bisque with Parmesan cauliflower. So freaking good. Do you have any requests or can I watch Housewives? Have you given up on Ratchet? No, I just have to catch up. All right, my grocery order got here, so I'm gonna unpack everything, and I feel like the easiest way is probably just to like lay it all out, and then I'll tell you what I got. So, let's do that. The Rouse pasta sauce was on sale, so I got four of those, <laughs> because we will definitely use this very quickly. We eat pasta like once or twice, sometimes more in a week. So we have that, we have some garbanzo beans. I just was running low, I always use those for various things. A couple of jackfruit cans. I like to use those for like taco bowls. Got some apples, cause I like to slice those up and eat them with peanut butter for a snack. Some bananas for smoothies and oatmeal and pancakes. Some avocado for avocado toast and sandwiches couple of limes for cilantro lime rice, which they were out of cilantro, very annoying. A tomato, a yam, some vegan butter, some of this tofurkey jelly slices because we like to make sandwiches during the week, it's just easy. And some sea salt, some sourdough bread for the sandwiches. Got some English muffins for like avocado toast and toast with jam in the morning. Some Gardein crispy tenders. I was thinking this could be good for like a Caesar salad or something. And I recently tried one of these purple carrot frozen meals. I got the, it was like a orzo pasta with vegan meatballs. And this one is the maple chipotle veggie bowl and it has brussels sprouts in it which is my favorite vegetable ever so i figured i would try it the other one was pretty good and i don't know i like having these on hand i had to get this i had to shells with vegan cheddar i used to love love the Velveeta shells so i have to try this and see if it's anywhere close to that. Um, I got some of these dragon fruit smoothie packs. I need to get back on my smoothie game because I love when I have smoothies for breakfast. So I feel like if I have something like this, it will make it a little easier. I wanted to try this because I love the Trader Joe's version of this and it looks very similar. So got that. I wanted to try these vegan yogurts by Harmless Harvest. So I got a blueberry flavor and a vanilla flavor. Then I got this unsweetened almond milk. I like the vanilla flavor for my matchas. And then I got this butter lettuce because it is good for sandwiches and salads. The works. Oh, and most important part, the best pickles are Grillo's, the best. Take it from a pickle connoisseur. So I'm just going to finish watching my trash reality. I watched Real Housewives of OC and now I'm watching The Bachelorette. And then I'm gonna take my makeup off and get ready for bed. I'll see you guys in the morning. Side of the body, keep the neck nice and long. 
Hey guys, good morning. So pretty productive morning so far. Um, I did my morning workout, then I had a phone call, then I uh, showered, did some self tanner, and did my makeup. <laughs> and now I'm curling my hair. Um, it's funny how those basic tasks feel productive, but these days they just really do. I can't explain it. I want to film an Instagram reel on how I style my bangs. So I've been meaning to do that for forever. So I'm going to do that. I have a meeting later tonight with the Vegan View girls and we are making it a meeting slash wine night <laughs> because that's how we roll. That's how business with your best friends works. Um, first half is going to be business and then Last half is gonna be just catching up on life and stuff. But I got some exciting news. I'm getting a foster dog. <laughs> I am uh, really excited. The rescue texted me yesterday, last night, and sent me this video. I die, I die. Um, so he is getting picked up from the shelter tomorrow. I feel like he's gonna get adopted really quickly because he looks like a delicious scruffy monster, but we'll see. Um, yeah, so I always get like a little anxious before fostering um, because it definitely is time consuming and the fact that like I, I mean, here's the thing. It doesn't have to be time consuming because at the end of the day, the most important thing a foster can do is give a roof over the dog's head so that they're not in the shelter, a safe place to sleep and eat. And like, that's it, honestly. But I always like to do the best I can to get the dog acquainted and like ready to be adopted. You know, like things like eating on a schedule and going out on a schedule and spending time in the crate and things like that. I always like to get them used to that so that they're going to be ready to adopt it and they find a really good home really quickly. I am somebody who like I thrive off of chaos so I always give myself too much stuff to do and too much stuff to worry about and I know that about myself so I always try to like simplify things before I put myself in another chaotic situation. For the most part, I just want to like get the house clean and like get the extra crate out and get it all ready for this new friend that I'm going to be taking care of. So that is really exciting. And I've done a few vlogs on foster dogs and I honestly didn't anticipate to have one this month, but I have one. So it's exciting. This is what I get. I get a bowl with extra white rice, black beans, fajita veggies, corn, mild, guacamole, and then I always get, I always ask for a side of limes or lemons, but they were out this time. I ate the whole bag on our way up to Northern California. And so that's why I'm like, that's why I rated it high because I was like, I would eat the whole bag. So they're good. <laughs> Hello, I am on my way right now to the Mayday store and I'm gonna go get our new little buddy and a hand dish guy with me, hello. Um, we're both wearing stripes, yes, that's a thing. So. I'm gonna be at the store for a few hours, so I brought Archie so he can get to know him, and then that way it'll be more comfortable when he comes home with us. Anyways, I'm so tired. We stayed up till like 2 a.m. last night talking, and it was so nice and so needed, but I am like exhausted, and I think I might have to do a coffee today, even though I'm still trying to do coffee strike. I mean, you can like probably see I look so tired. Um, yeah, so I'll update you guys when we get there. Hey. Hey. Ooh, what 
a day. I had like zero chance to vlog. Mayday got six new dogs today. Four of them were puppies. Um, and then this guy, and then another guy from a different shelter. Um, so they came from this shelter that gets overcrowded a lot. And so they end up having to send a good amount of the dogs to animal control to be put down. And he happened to be one of them that was going to go to animal control to be put down. Hey, you're so cute. Oh my God. Um, yeah, so that's the reality of things. That's why I always encourage people to adopt because there, that is a thing that happens. Um, dogs do get put down and it's just the very real reality that there are too many dogs in this world and not enough homes. And I know people get frustrated sometimes when they try to rescue and they can't, they don't get an immediate answer or they don't get the first dog they applied for, but I just promise that there is more than enough dogs out there that need homes. It, the number is never ending. So he was in really bad shape when he got here because he had been in the car for five hours. He smelled so bad. Luckily, we were able to get him in at this grooming place called Wagon Swag. If you're in LA, please go take your dogs there. They're so awesome. All right, this is what I made for dinner. It's the mac and cheese that I got from Whole Foods and I wanted to try it out and give you guys a review. Hmm, it's good, but it does, it's not as flavorful as I would have thought a cheddar mac and cheese would be. I was thinking it would be similar to like the Velveeta shells and it definitely was similar in preparation, but the cheese itself is lacking a little flavor. Like it definitely doesn't have the tang and saltiness that a cheddar would have. I actually prefer the Daya mac and cheese to this. I think that one is a lot better. Um, got up, I curled my hair, I did my skincare, took them on a walk. Um, he definitely knows to go potty outside, so that's great. I, like potty training him is gonna be no big deal. He hasn't been fixed yet and they tend to want to mark things. So he gets to wear a diaper um, until we get him fixed and we know he's not gonna mark in the house because cannot have that. It's a chain reaction. When one dog marks, they all wanna mark. So he seems to be pretty happy when he's just chilling on the bed. <laughs> and other than that, he feels very anxious everywhere else. But um, I am going to have to leave in a bit and go to work because I work part-time um, and it's an essential job, so I am still working right now. But I get to bring him with me. This morning, my phone decided to just shut off after I had vlogged the morning. We did our morning walk and I wanted to show you guys how we did that, but it's all gone because I ended up having to do like the factory reset on my phone. So I lost everything that I took today, but no big deal. I just got home and they got a package from Pacifica. And I'm so excited because I love Pacifica so much. Some acne products. He, the poor guy has been so anxious all day. I took him to work with me and he was like chewing on the dog bed and he was like breathing really hard and he just has had it rough. But he's really happy to be home with his foster brother and sister. Hello buddy, you wanna say hello? We have the diaper on because he is marking all over the place. <laughs> but you're a good boy still, right? You deserve love. You're just so confused. So we have this Acne Warrior Clearing Astringent with 2% salicylic acid with acne medication, witch hazel, cucumber, and niacinamide. This Acne Defense Face Wash. Pore Warrior Soft Scrub with Cucumber, Niacinamide, and Mint. This Dry It Out Acne Gel Spot Treatment. And then this Oil Fighter Booster Serum. Yay, I'm excited about that. I also got 
a package from Daily Harvest. Um, they reached out and wanted to send me some stuff and I've always seen people talk about Daily Harvest and I've always seen the commercials and I've thought that that would be like the perfect thing for my lifestyle. I am just someone who's always hungry but also barely has time to cook all of her meals and um, I always seem to need things like fast and last minute, especially for breakfast and lunch. Dinners, I, I love to cook at home. That's like usually not a problem, but it's during the day that I find really hard. Let's venture into the kitchen and I'll show you what I got. Don't judge the freezer. It's packed, packed. <laughs> um, but I'm trying to keep a lot of frozen stuff since, you know, pandemic. Okay, so I got one of the flatbreads. I got artichoke and spinach. I got two of the smoothies chocolate blueberry and strawberry peach. So I'm very excited about that because I love smoothies. Then I also got this oatmeal with blueberry, raspberry, mulberry, and dragon fruit. I got two of their bowls that I thought would be good for lunch. So this one has broccoli, asparagus, coconut, pumpkin seed, MCT oil, and dill, Brussels sprouts, kale, carrot, kelp, jalapeno, and lime. It's like a pad thai, and I love Brussels sprouts. So I'll definitely let you guys know how they are. I'm sure I'll be eating these throughout the next few vlogs. Wait, the most important thing came in today. I forgot to share it because it came in like right when I was leaving and I was in a hurry, this sweatshirt. I just, I just love it. In honor of having the first woman vice president, I felt that this was a memento I needed to have, but I will model for you later, don't you worry, honey. Good boy. Okay. Are we anxious? Oh, I know, I know. This is one of the ways I get dogs <laughs> to eat is by putting it in my hand. Sometimes that helps them eat. Sometimes they're scared of the bowls for some reason, so. Okay, bud. This little guy, he's got some pent up aggression. <laughs> make a big Caesar salad for lunch. And then I got some air fried chickpeas. I think I made them a little too crispy, but I think we'll be fine. I put the Trader Joe's chickenless salt on them. This stuff is the best. Okay, let's start with that and see how that is. And I'm gonna add capers, cause duh. All right, Jesse and I are splitting this, so I'm gonna move it to two separate bowls. All right, last, some garden chicken. Mmm, so good. Hello. Are you too cute? Are you the cutest? Oh my God. Hello. Oh my God, I'm the, literally the worst. I am the worst. Um, I promise I anticipated vlogging way more, but got that little guy and he commands some attention and he deserves it. So um, I promise hopefully next week will be more interesting. But uh, yeah, I am just getting ready right now and I am going to be filming for the vegan view and then editing same day. Usually I film before this, but again, crazy week. And are you humping things in the background, sir? Edit that and I have to edit this vlog. So I've got my work cut out for me. I'm gonna be just editing all day. So nothing exciting, but I thought I would just update you on where we're at. And um, 
If there's anything in particular you want to see on Vlogmas, let me know. All right, I have my little screen. Got lights, lights, and camera. All right, so I am just editing my life away, trying to get this done so I'm not up all night. Um, but I will see you guys next week for another vlog.